Hey guys, this is Kamigunu, and today I'm doing a review for Tangled Before Ever After, which is a new Disney Channel original movie that premiered and is the hour special before the television show. So I was really excited for this because it's a continuation of Tangled and I miss when Disney used to do that where they would have their movie properties and make television shows out of them. Now of course I was afraid would this be a cash grab? Will this actually be a good movie? Let's find out if it was. So spoiler alert, uh, I will have a couple spoilers with my review here. So going into the movie we, we see that uh, Rapunzel's happy, she's with Eugene, she's with, uh, with her family, and she's getting ready to becoming an official princess. And she kind of keeps convincing herself, yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy, but she's not. She's still feeling trapped, just in another way. She's still in a castle, and even though she's surrounded by people she loves, she wants that adventure. She wants to learn about the world. She's tired of being trapped, and... When Eugene proposes to her and says, oh, I can't wait to, you know, stay in this castle forever and, and have children, she's like, oh, God, that's not what I want. And she kind of has this flashback of what her world was. And it was really deep the way they we, the way they did that. And she runs away, and then her friend slash handmaiden, uh, Cassandra, goes on a trip uh, just to have fun. And for some reason takes her to the rock that gave her powers. Uh, that transition could have been a little better. But she goes to the rock. She gets her powers back. So now we know how she has her long hair back for the show. And everyone finds out by the end of the movie. But uh, we have Rapunzel's dad not being very happy about it, really making uh, her being trapped in, in the castle again. And the movie ends where Rapunzel singing her a song saying, yeah, I'm going to get out of here type thing and, and fill up the book my mom wants me to fill up, but she doesn't escape right away. So I think the TV show is going to be a buildup of trying to build her relationship with her dad to learn, hey, I, I need to get out of this castle and have a life before I get married and before I have to do all these things. So that's pretty much the whole entire movie. And I was really impressed with this because, again, going into it, I had these fears that it would just be, you know, dumbed down a bit because it's on Disney Channel and it'd just be aimed for kids, unlike the movie, unlike Disney movies in general, where I feel like it's aimed for everybody. Uh, but when you have Disney Channel stuff, a lot of times it's aimed for the kids that are watching the Disney Channel stuff. But here... It very much felt like a continuation of the movie, which was great. It had the same vibe to it. The humor was on point. The voice acting was wonderful because it's the same voice actors. But even the new voice actors, really um, top uh, A-list uh, voice actors here doing the show. So that was great quality for, for the show. And even the song, same, uh, I think it's the same writers who did the movie also. So the tone of the story very much feels like when you were watching the movie, which is great. And also this is serialized. One thing that you wouldn't see in the other Disney Channel shows is it would usually just be a one-off episode. This happens, but you would never really need to see the episodes in order. You could see a random episode because they're small adventures. Now, I do think that the show is going to keep with the small adventures, but it looks like there's going to be more of a serialized format like this movie. Things are going to happen. We're going to see relationships form. We're going to see the plot develop, which I'm actually really happy about. I don't feel like enough, Dis uh, enough Disney Channel shows do that, and at least in recent years they haven't really done that. So I'm extreme extremely happy about that, and it seems like the TV show is going to be very much a continuation of this movie. So again, very happy to see that. And let me know if you want me to review the television show, because that's going to be coming out in two weeks. So uh, yeah, this was just really well done with the characters, especially, again, Rapunzel, her parents, Eugene, but even new characters like Cassandra, I was so impressed with. Really liked her character. I like that Rapunzel has a friend, because obviously that's not something we saw with the first movie, so I really liked that. Story-wise, great. Really was impressed. Now, only nitpicks for the story was probably the villain. Uh, I think there's motive enough for the villain, but it just kind of squeezed in there by the end just 
that way Rapunzel reveals her secret and, and gets to fight. Which I might, um, which I also have to add that I really like how much of an action girl Rapunzel and Cassandra is. And it's not that Eugene isn't, he's definitely part of it all. But she's no damsel in distress. Not that she ever was, but I think they really pushed the action with her. And again, Cassandra also. So definitely compliment that also. Um, now going into the animation, uh, while well, I, I was mentioning uh, the story of the villain, the villain could have been a little better. They tried to give her a little bit of motive, but how do you beat Mother Gothel? But it looks like Mother Gothel might be in the show. That's going to be interesting. So I'm curious how they're going to do the villains of the story. We'll see, uh, but they could have done the villain a little bit better with this movie. Now going into the animation, which is definitely the biggest difference of this movie, and I will say the animation obviously feels cheaper because it's not a blockbuster movie, and it's a bit jarring because it's so different. It's a very different animation style. I wish they went a little similar to the animation style of the movie, and I, and I get, I mean, budget, you can't do that. But just doing a simpler version of it, I don't know, it's just that this was very jarring because it was so different. And even the movements, I mean, there are some good detail in the backgrounds and, and things like that, but I just feel like the movements of characters sometimes weren't in alignment. It It's not horrible animation, maybe if we didn't have the movie animation in our minds, I would feel differently, but it's very different. But I will say the story is so good, you kind of get used to the animation, like you kind of overlook it. I'm not saying it's like the prettiest show to watch, but you get used to the animation style they're, they're using. So overall, I was really impressed with this movie. I went in not, you know, excited for the movie but not expecting too much. I was honestly expecting it to be more Disney Channel oriented but I'm really happy that this uh, went more in in lineup with the movie and the way Disney Channel or I mean the way Disney tells its movies and making it more all ages than just for kids. So I really recommend Tangled uh, the movie if you like the franchise and I really hope that this is getting Disney's animation to a higher tier because now we have um we have the new Donald Duck show uh, DuckTales is going to be on there so we have a lot of high expectation uh, television shows for Disney Channel now with animation and I hope that it'll be all ages and not just aim for a demographic which I think this could be the start of that and I'm really excited uh, about that because I'm a big animation fan. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of the movie. Uh, would you like me to review the television show when it does come out? So this is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below there are links for my comic book like Father Like Daughter and don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter and I'll see you guys later. Bye.